so, uh, I shot some videos when I found Arlo, and, uh, I don't think I'm gonna put them on the internet, because they're pretty fucked up. And I really don't want to remember him that way, and I don't want anybody in the Vortex to remember him that way. If you're familiar with his channel at all, you know that I shoot a lot of things that most people in their right mind would say, you're crazy for shooting that. Like a video of my dead cat. Um, so, I, I don't think that people need to see that because I think that that would fuck them up. Now this is actually the third dead cat that I have found. It's just that this one happened to be mine. So it was especially devastating. But anytime that you find something that is dead, it's really profound. And to have seen him earlier and pet him and kissed him on his little head, and he was warm, and he was still alive and breathing, to come home and find him totally lifeless and cold and stiff. It's just a real testament to, you know, the reality that we all face. And animals are very, very cognizant of death. They, they know when it's fast approaching and he was ready to get out of here. He was hiding. He was obviously not very happy. And not just because he was residing at my house, but I think that something severely messed up his intestines, not just his GI tract, but he was eating a lot of my clothes. And this is one of the reasons why I clean my house 